Hey, Jerry. I didn't know you liked soup. Hard to believe. This guy makes the best soup in the city, Jerry. The best. You know what they call him? Soup Nazi. <laughs> All right, let me tell you about this guy. Yeah. Do you know who this guy is? He looks like Daniel. <laughs> he does. That is the Soup Nazi. Hey guys, my name's Leighton. This one's called Explaining the Soup Nazi. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. Like the Soup Nazi, I'm a soup chef and I run a soup kitchen. And one of the first things you see as you walk into this store is this light box. It's a meme off the internet and it's not original. All I did was replace the word soup with pho. And that's his famous line. His line is, no soup for you. You know something? <laughs> no soup for you! Come back, one year! But why does he say pho? Because I changed it. I dare say, apart from the soups here, people take photos of this light box every time they walk in because it's funny. But not everyone understands why it's funny. And that's what I want to explain in this video. Now, people think as a chef, I watch cooking shows in my spare time. When in reality, I don't watch anything cooking related, period. In my spare time, I enjoy watching reruns of sitcoms like Seinfeld. One large jambalaya, please. <laughs> My all-time favorite TV show. And anyone who doesn't know anything about Seinfeld, it's basically a show about nothing. And in one of the episodes, there's a scene with the soup Nazi. He's a guy that runs a very popular soup kitchen, just like myself. He's portrayed as this bad guy, this villain, because he's always got this angry, pissed off look on his face. In Vietnamese, it's called Gamat Kot Chil. All right, so the story is, this guy runs a soup kitchen just like uncle, and then he has to deal with a really bad customer that day, and he got really angry, and that's why he said, no soup for you. Come back one year. And the first time I saw the soup Nazi, I thought he was hilarious, but I couldn't really relate to him until now. Now that I've got my own soup kitchen, I know what he's going through. The only one who understands me. You suffer for your soup. Yes, that is right. <laughs> you demand perfection from yourself, from your soup. How can I tolerate any less from my customer? I can understand why the soup Nazi looks so angry all the time because he's constantly got to cook and recook because the soups are sold out. People think when you run a busy soup kitchen, it's all fun and games, it's great. You go home, count the cash after work. You know, I go home and start doing that. When in reality, After service, there's a ton of work to do. You gotta wash the dishes, you gotta reset, you gotta recook. Because all that soup's not gonna replace itself. But the one thing that's different between me and the soup Nazi is I'm not stupid enough to write my recipes down and stuff it in an armoire or a cupboard which I sell on Facebook Marketplace to my rivals. Because in the TV show, <laughs> that is what happens. Elaine, one of the other characters who the soup Nazi uh, doesn't like, I think she got banned from the store, uh, she happens to buy this Armoire of the soup Nazi. Hello. <laughs> you, 
You think you can get soup? Please, you're wasting everyone's time. When she brings it home, she was opening the drawers and lo and behold, she finds his entire collection of soup recipes. This is my recipe for a wild mushroom. Yeah, that's right. I got them all. He goes out of business because of that. I, however, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> In fact, no one knows my recipe. And the other night, I was telling mum if something was to happen to me, do you want my secret recipe? Her reaction was, come Pam, which means, nah, I'm good. So anyway, that is the origins of the soup Nazi. And I tried to explain it to my seven year old nephew, Noah. Actually, I think you gotta watch the clip. I'm actually thinking I'm on YouTube right now, and I am, because I'm AFK for so long. <laughs> I've been AFK for so long, and then they think I'm on YouTube, and I'm actually on YouTube. N-A-Z-I. No, 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 no. <laughs> actually, you're too young for this. You're going to learn about eh. this later in high school history. Hey, why didn't get any bread. Just forget it, let it go. <laughs> Just watch it. Excuse me, uh, I think you forgot my bread. Bread? Two dollars extra. Two dollars? The only one in front of me got free bread. You want bread? Yes, please. Three dollars! <laughs> what? No soup for you! <laughs> Do you get it now? Was that funny? No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. She's funny. One Her name's Elaine. Funny. I'm that right there, that one from uh, NMA. Yes. Never been a big fan. Guys, watch. <laughs> um, she really annoys him. You know what? Does has anyone ever told you you look exactly like Al Pacino? You know, son of a woman. Hua! <laughs> Hua! <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know something? Mm. No soup for you! Come back! One year! I'm all the same. Was that the funniest thing you've no. ever watched in your life? No, I didn't even laugh one. Why? It wasn't funny one bit. Yeah. What do you find funny then? Um, nothing. Well, it's super duper duper hard to make me laugh. Hi, I'm Noah. And this is the try not to laugh challenge. Yeah. that is it for tonight's episode a short and sweet one hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video